They're not the my PVC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today we're going to come from Colossians chapter 3, and I want to pick it up at verse uh, uh, 12, and we're going to read down a little bit here, and then we come back and talk about why it's on my heart. So Colossians chapter 3, picking up verse 12, it says, Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another, if any have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called, in one body, and ye are thankful. Let the word of, God, word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another, in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. So what's interesting about this, as I read through this passage here, is I what, what put this on my heart is actually, well, I actually went through it last night in, in a study, and then I was thinking about this, and I, I've just been kind of meditating on these verses. And do you see the building progression here and how amazing it is? We're called here to forbear with one another, to forgive one another, right? And, and, and if any has a quarrel, forgive even as Christ forgave. But it's interesting to me because I think sometimes we kind of go about this idea of thinking we have to just kind of push ourselves to forgive people. When in reality, if we actually start with the right heart, heart, the forgiveness comes naturally. What is that right heart? Well, it's found in verse 12. It says, put on therefore as the elect of God. So those of us who are believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, what do we put on? We put on, listen, as it says here, um, and beloved, bow, bowels of mercy. We put on bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering. Why? How can we put that on? Well, here's how we put that on. Because it's been put on us. It's been given to us. Christ has shown us, God has shown us as his beloved, right? As the elect and beloved of God, he's, given, he's shown us his bowels of mercy towards us. He's been merciful to us. He's been, he's been as it says, they're kind to us. He, we know that we should be humble because of all the great mercy and kindness he has shown us, right? He's been, we should be meek because of how, how much mercy and grace and, and how much kindness he's shown us and long suffering. Why? Because he's been so long suffering with us. And if we can be this way, then forgiving one another is not a hard thing. And once we forgive one another, look what actually the, the beautiful, beautiful part about it is, right? So we forgive one another, we show charity to one another, and then it says, and above all things, put on charity. He says, which is a bond of perfectness, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. So we can have that peace of God if we start working this way through these things. And that peace of God comes not only from the forgiving one another and from being th this kind of character, but also from what it says in verse 16, letting the word of Christ dwell in us richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing. If we let the word of God dwell with us and we sing, sing songs, hymns and spiritual songs, making melody in our heart unto the Lord. So I hope this encourages your day just to kind of think about how we're supposed to conduct ourselves and how we can get to those places we want to be. As always, remember, that I love you, we love you. God, sorry guys, God loves you and God's got this.